Hey there, and welcome back. My name is Gardner. I've been running my YouTube channel Gardner Bryant for over seven years. I've made a career out of video editing on Linux, and I'm really excited to share with you some of the tips and tricks I've learned in that time. Editing is a fickle thing, and I found most of the editors that I know have quite unique setups. One thing I could never again live without in my primary editing rig, it's multiple monitors. Seeing as I do this for a living, I've invested in my editing setup, and this is something that we can explore together. Is it a necessity? No. If you're a hobbyist, you can absolutely edit using a single screen. In fact, in much of this series, that's exactly what I did. And for years, that's what I did when I was running my YouTube channel. You still have all the flexibility of Caden Live's interface, but with the real estate of a single monitor. However, if you want to get serious about video editing, as I have, multiple monitors will help facilitate more detail-oriented editing. So, I've got my Librem 14 laptop connected to my desktop monitors via the one onboard HDMI and a USB-C to HDMI hub. Now, first of all, I have two identical 2K ViewSonic monitors, which allow me to have one dedicated as a playback screen while the other has the GUI on it. This allows me to clearly see what I'm editing and if I'm applying effects, I can preview the effects at a much higher resolution. For example, when doing compositing for my end screen for my YouTube channel, if I were to use a single screen, I'd have this tiny space to be able to properly center my video track over the end card. However, with a full screen preview as my second monitor, I can get the alignment just right. As you're editing, you're also likely to catch issues with your footage when you're previewing it in full screen. And it's kind of a hassle to go into full screen and then leave full screen when you want to do an actual edit. So how do you configure Caden Live to use your screen as the project monitor? Well, you can just click and drag the project monitor window and move it to your second screen. It really is that simple. Once it's on the second screen, you can either manually align it to the dimensions of your monitor, or you can double click the image to have it become full screen. But you don't have to just use your second monitor to watch back your edits. You can customize Caden Live's layout across multiple screens in any number of ways. Similar to how you clicked and dragged the project monitor to the other screen, you can move your audio level panel as well. You can also move your effects stack there too. You can pretty much do whatever makes sense for you and your workflow. Once you have everything configured the way you like, you can then click view and then choose save layout to save your current configuration. From here, you can then restore your layout using view, load layout, and then choose the name of your layout. It's pretty straightforward. This is super useful if you create a layout for Caden Live that works for you, but you also like to switch to audio or effects or color work tabs as well. Now, if you don't save your layout, you'll lose the configuration when switching to other workspaces. So in this video, we covered how to configure Caden Live's layout and how to utilize multiple monitors. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.